Hey everyone, I've got some snail mail updates today. I'm really excited to take a look, especially at this red package right here. Um, but we do have a magazine, this red package, and also there is an Amazon package behind me I'm going to show you. Let's go ahead and start with the Southern Living because it's the most um, boring part of what I have to show you today. So we're going to take a quick look at this magazine, see if there's anything good in here. And then we'll move on to the cool mail that I'm really excited about. This magazine got damaged, I realize. That's a little disappointing, but it's not something that I can't work with. I love this right here, first of all. Probably going to use that guy with the cucumbers on his eyeballs. Some nice floral pictures in here. Lots of fun pictures in this magazine. Oh, I like that. Love the Deadpool ad here on the bottom. Deadpool slash adopt a dog ad. Lots of delicious looking food. Ooh, that Sunday too. Key lime pie Sunday. Oof. That sounds heavenly. Kind of like this picture of the mac and cheese here as well. I think I might try to use that somewhere. All right, there we are. We're done with this magazine. Fun little look at that. But like I said, I'm not really excited about this magazine compared to the rest of my mail. This is from my sweet friend, Allison. You all know her from Imperfect Pages. She reached out to me recently and asked if I would like a package from her because she got something for me if I was willing to accept the gift. And hell yeah, I was so excited. Allison is so sweet to have thought of me. So I have to admit, I already had a little peek in here because she told me what she was sending and I wanted to see what it looked like. I haven't looked at everything in this package. I just looked at the main item, which I'm really excited to show you guys here in just a second. But first, I want to get this envelope out of the way because I don't feel like my post-its are doing a very good job covering up our personal information. And here's what's on the inside. We all know that Allie uses composition books for her journals. Um, not all the time, but often. She saw this little robot composition book and she got it for me and sent it to me and I'm so pleased. It's definitely my aesthetic with the retro pixel robots and the bright colors. And I've been waffling around the idea of using composition books for journals because Allie's so into it. And this might be the first time I actually do that. Either that or I can use it for a glue book. Oh, see, even as I'm talking to you guys, I'm waffling on what I'm going to use this for. Either way, I'm probably not going to use this comp book right away. It is going to wind up on my shelf for a while until I figure out what I'm going to do with it exactly. And I can tell, you guys could probably tell as well, there's some stuff in this journal. It looks like Allie did not send just the composition book, but a little maybe present or two on the inside. So let's take a look at that as well. So this is everything that Allie sent along with the very cute robot composition book. This is a really sweet note from Allison. I'm not going to let you guys read it, but I do want to point out something that she said on this card. So she's using the same notebook right now, and she told me that she thinks of these little robots as guardians of her private thoughts. And I love that so much. I love that so much I had to share that with you guys and when I do start using this composition book I will definitely think these happy little robots as guardians and protectors, sentries if you will, guarding my thoughts. Also I just want to note that this card is absolutely beautiful. It's huge. It's very high quality. It's like really thick paper. And on the inside, Allison uh, decorated it as well, and it's very beautiful, but I don't want to show you that part. And here are the extra little stuffins she included in the notebook. First of all is this, which I love. What a beautiful stamp. I'm wondering if Allison actually owns this stamp or if she just happened to have this little piece of paper. 
that's beautiful I can't wait to use that a bookmark oh my goodness I know this is a bookmark but I'm not gonna use this, this is a bookmark this is gonna go in my book journal really cool space stickers my goodness everyone knows me so well I love space stuff I love I love astronauts and space stuff and nebulas and planets and stars it's all so cool really like these stickers I've never seen these at my Dollar Tree because Jot is Dollar Tree brand I believe I wonder why my Dollar Tree doesn't have these. Ooh, there's this beautiful piece of transparent vellum. I don't know how transparent it is. Ooh, it's pretty transparent. That's really pretty. Thank you for this piece of paper, Allison. Thank you for everything, let's be honest. I'm so grateful. You are my sunshine. The front's really pretty and I like how the back matches with the splatters. A whole package of stickers. I believe these are Dollar Tree as well. Why does my Dollar Tree not have anything cute like this? Decorative stickers, and they're all like um positivity, I guess. Good vibes only. Be the best version of you. Present over perfect. Take a deep breath and que sera, sera. Okay, that just reminds me of the TV show From. I actually mentioned that in a, a video recently. I talked about how spooky the TV show is and how good it is to watch at nighttime. So this que sera, sera sticker definitely reminds me of that spooky ass show. So I'm probably going to use this sticker right around the time we start watching it again this autumn. Really looking forward to that. How fun. Oh my goodness, this is so so beautiful. Is this a postcard? This is a postcard. That's not Starry Night, but that looks like Starry Night. It's definitely the Van Gogh. Van, Van Gogh. Never know how to say his name. It's definitely um, inspired by the painting by Van Gogh. Care Bear stickers. Oh my goodness. I love Care Bears. I loved Care Bears when I was little. I love them now. I think Good Luck Bear is probably my favorite out of like the vintage old bears that I don't even know if these bears exist anymore. They probably got replaced by new bears, like, I don't know, uh, Snapchat bear, <laughs> TikTok bear, Riz bear, I don't know, I'm just, I'm being silly now. Ooh, I love this. This is an artist, I, I um, can't quite read the name because I'm not very good at reading other people's writing. <laughs> I love this so much. I've seen this style before. It's really cool. I'm so into this. Got this peace hand. Oh, it's an alien hand though. It's missing a finger. <laughs> I just realized. That's so cool. I love the uh, pattern on that. Oh, yep. Alien files. There we are. <laughs> like, wait a minute. That's not a human hand. It's missing a finger. Oh, this came out of here. I bet you anything. Boop. Yep. That goes right in there. And some beautiful glittery paper. I love this. I have some glitter paper, but this is a different color than what I have. And also the glitter is different. It's a different grain of glitter and the paper feels way different than what I have. Let me, let me compare it real quick for you guys. This is the glitter paper I already have. You can see that the one I have is a way chunkier grain. And you could feel, it doesn't come off, but you can feel the glitter on this page can't really feel the glitter on this page. It's smooth. You can probably even hear the difference. This is so beautiful. Thank you so much, Allison. Thank you for everything. I love everything so much. You definitely know my style and the, the kind of things I like, and I'm so, so grateful. I don't deserve this. I, I really don't. Um, this is probably my favorite thing in the package, short of the notebook. I'm just so blessed. I am blessed. Thank you so much. And, like I said, we also have an Amazon package to look at, but this is going to be in the way if I leave the box here. So I'm going to put the box on my chair and I'm just going to pull everything out to show you. I say everything like it's filled, but there's only four items in here. What I am most excited about are these. I know this is so silly, but this is clear plastic envelopes with a zipper enclosure. Um, I've been working on organizing my scraps for months now, but the way I was doing it was not working out. So I bought these to keep my scraps in instead of the, um, instead of the page protectors that I'm currently using. 
and I think these are gonna work much better and I can't wait to finish organizing my scrap drawer. So I think this is a 24 pack if I'm not mistaken. 24, yeah, there's 24 of these. They have a bunch of different color lids, or not lids, they have a bunch of different colored zippers. They're kind of dirty. <laughs> Look at that, ooh. They came to me dirty, which, what is that powder? Mmm. Probably gonna leave a crappy review for these just because they came to me dirty and they have like some kind of dust all over them. To go wash my hands before I touch my face. Look at those. They came in filthy. Is the dirt on the inside? It is on the inside. Oh yeah, definitely gonna see a, a crappy review for these. I'm sure I'll use them, but I'm gonna have to wipe them down first. Look at that. I don't know how well you can see it since, you know, it's a see-through plastic and I have a ring light and everything, but it's, it's filthy. Good God, this is embarrassing. I paid $12 for this. Look at that, I just wiped it off the inside. Ugh, all right. On to the next item. I've been super obsessed with my favorite Disney movie recently. My favorite Disney movie is um, a Goofy movie. So I ordered these Goofy stickers. I already gave one to my husband, so there's there's a sticker missing from this pile, but you guys aren't gonna notice, it's all right. So I'm gonna speed up really quick and we're gonna look at these together. I also ordered this 200 piece Hulk stickers. And I've been really excited to take a look at these. I haven't looked at these at all yet. And they are, oh, they are four packs of 50 stickers, it looks like. The listing led me to believe it was gonna be 200 different Stickers. I'm pretty sure it even showed me more than 50 stickers in the listing. I have one more thing I'm gonna show you guys, but I have to change the camera angle first. Last but not least, I've got this easel. I've never had an easel before, so I'm pretty excited about it. I was kind of encouraged by my husband to get an easel. He thinks it's time for me to be a real artist. So here we are, I've got an easel. It's from Artify, Artify brand. And their motto is art for the sake of it which I love. So let's go ahead and take a look at my very first easel. All right, so it comes in a couple pieces. I have to set it up, which makes sense. Looks like it came in a nice little carrying case because I'm probably gonna carry my easel everywhere. Not really though. Oh, there's more building than I thought. Oh, bless it. Well, let's, let's figure this thing out. Oh my goodness, I don't know what I'm doing and I'm not very good at building stuff. I can't even get it open, let alone build it. This is ridiculous. There we go. have a good way to film this. Let me try something different. I don't, like I said, I'm not good at building stuff, so let's, let's see what happens here. So I'm planning on using it on my desk, so I'm probably going to use it about this size instead of extending the legs, but the legs do extend in case I want to stand up and paint, but the goal is to have uh, my painting standing up on my desk. Oh, it stabilizes the easel. Okay, I got you. So this would be mounted here. So I have that little tray and this would go here on the top. To hold my canvas in place. All right, 
It was easy to set up. There wasn't much to it. There was just two pieces. It looked scary though. And see about this strap. I guess it just there if you need it kind of thing. I think this will work better once I'm, you know, my desk is clean and I'm actually sitting here to do art. But right now it's kind of just a mess. Um, but let's go ahead and try canvas. I do have a canvas prepared right here. I have it gessoed and ready to go. I just haven't started anything on it yet. And that is where I would work on my canvas. I'm going to have to figure out better lighting it looks like because this ain't going to work. But I do have a headlamp that I use often for art, so I might just use my headlamp while I'm working on this canvas. But I'm pretty excited. I'm a real artist now with an easel. That's pretty exciting. And it's exactly what I thought it was going to be. So this was worth the price. This um, seems like it's in good shape. It's not unsturdy or anything. So it seems it seems to be worth the price on like a couple other things I showed you from my Amazon order today. But yeah, I guess that's it. So that's all the mail I got today. This is my easel. I'm pretty excited about it. And I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me while I did this because I guess I just needed someone to talk to while I was trying to build it. See you in the video. Bye.